What's up, Brian? What's up, guys? It's Exotic Fishing here. We're on Petco. I'm gonna get some beta fish. I don't want to get this fish, but look at this. A glowfish beta. And the only problem is we come down to this tank. Look, it's only, this is only a one gallon tank. Not that big as you can see, but it has a pretty cool filter system and light. 60 bucks for a one gallon tank. So I already got the stuff in my cart. We got one of these right here. These things are pretty cool. And under the glow light, they glow. And like these little tips are orange. So they glow orange, it's super cool. Uh, beta flakes, I think I might have to get some of these. Water stuff right here, I already got some of that inside the tank, so it should be good. Uh, actually, I wanna see these flakes, so never mind. So yeah, so I think I'm gonna get some beta flakes. I already got some rock. I forgot what color it is. I think it's about the same color as this for my 10 gallon, because as you guys know, I don't have any rocks in it right now. And so we got everything in the tank. Um, we're about to go get the beta or beta whatever you want to call it and get the one for my sister i just called her and got off the phone with her and we, we found some pretty cool ones and she wanted this one right here the whatever that says she wanted this one right here a nice little male and then sh i was gonna get this one right here this thing's super cool and so i was i was gonna end up breeding them but since my sister doesn't have a tank yet, I just decided to get her fish now so I can already train it to feed and everything. And I was going to put it in the little tank that you guys saw that I just had the one fish and I'm going to put mine in the big tent, well, tank gallon tank in my room. And then for her birthday, I'm going to get her a beta tank and then give her her beta and then do something else with that other tank, the small tank. Uh, I said some Cory cats in the last video which are super duper cool. I'll come show you guys them real quick. Uh-oh, she's crying. <laughs> um, I thought they had them over here. But they're like little catfish that are like, get on, that get kind of big like that. So I'm trying to find them. They're usually over here. But I didn't say, oh yeah, here's what we got in our cart real quick. We got the flakes, two bags of rocks, and that cool little thing. I'm trying to find the catfish that I'm talking about. Right here, they had something I was about to show you. This glass catfish. This thing's so cool. I'll try to find it for you, but like, you literally can't even. It's literally glass. You literally can see it through its body. You can see all of its bones and everything. It's kind of like this little shrimp right here. Oh, where'd it go? What? Oh, there it is. It's kind of like that shrimp, but just a little catfish. And then I was thinking about doing that, or I could do tetras like this, or I could do some glow tetras. Those are really cool. I used to have a glow tetra tank, so I'd love to do that again. Um, frog? I don't even see a frog. Oh, look at this cutie. Look at him. <laughs> or I'd like to also get some mollies, something like this, but just a different color pattern. And so, yeah, this place is pretty cool. So we're gonna get these bit that is right here, this one. And this one, it's only gonna be like a couple bucks. But I don't know how much this stuff is, so that's gonna be the real whopper. And then I'm just gonna see if I need anything else for the tanks. Like, this would be my future Molly, probably. I'll show you guys over here. I think it's over here. Like, look how nasty that looks. That's Compared to that, that actually you probably got, probably can't see it on cam, but look, this is my favorite one. And I'd love to put that in a tank. Uh, I kind of want to get another tank gallon, but I don't know yet. I'm, there's just a lot of stuff that's going on right now with all the tanks and everything. Salt water. I probably won't get in the salt water for a long time. But this stuff's so cool. There's some Nemo. <laughs> And we got some stuff right here. We got, so I, some people have these things in their tanks for their bettas, and they're pretty cool. Here is the bed of water. It's like, I don't even think, pretty expensive for two little things that won't even halfway fill up my tank. So there's no point in even getting those. And we just got, just got a, our filter set up and everything in that tank. So it's all ready to go, ready to put some fish in and everything. We're just waiting on the fish and 
makes them pretty cool. My my dad actually had one of these, and I think they're pretty cool. But he said that they have babies like crazy. So that's the only bad thing about. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's a big one. I think mine's probably like like that compared to it. Actually, like that. A little bit. Dang, that thing's pretty big. That's pretty. Cool. I I hope that mine gets real big. I mean, it probably will, cause why would it not? But I'm acting dumb. So we're about to get these, and I'll see you back when we're getting all. So the as stuff. you guys might have saw in the last video, my lizard was actually out of food. So we're over here looking at the bugs and stuff. We have some mealworms right here. So we're just looking at these. I used to feed her mealworms, but then they just kind of got real expensive, so we stopped buying them. So I'm just looking at them, seeing if we should get them again or something. But I'll show you these real quick. Oh, these are many. I'm trying to find some big ones. Like these, these things are disgusting. Here, hang on. Here are all the mealworms and stuff. So we got some right here. Here, I might have to use the camera. Oh, we didn't do that. Somebody asked. We did not do that. Here, I'm just setting the camera down. Open. The, oh, no, I just got that all over the camera. Oh look, there it goes. Oh my gosh. That thing's fast. Just a little mealworm like that. Nothing too special. Sorry for the bad camera quality. Having struggles filming myself. But that's way too small for her. We used to feed my lizard those stuff, but not anymore. This is a cool little thing, a mealworm feeder. So I guess it just, oh, God, I'm so bad at filming. So I guess what it does, they just squirm on out so the lizard can't eat them any time or something like that. These are, I've never had to do this for mine, for my lizard, but it's like sprays. I don't know what the sprays actually do, but I think they're pretty cool. Oh, here's some beta tanks. Bro, this is what my sister wanted. She said she wanted a legit fishbowl, and here it is. I'm like, Tuss, you probably couldn't do anything with a fishbowl. Oh no, look. This has got the filter, the light up here. Bro, that is sick. It's three gallons, too. Then we got some other two-gallon tanks. Oh, that, that's so awkward. No, I was literally just standing there recording that, and the, the worker turns around and just, like, dead stares right at me. I'm trying not to get kicked out here for filming or anything, which I, I don't even know if you're allowed to film here, but we're saying that these are some foul ones right here. I didn't even know if they get that big. I like that fat, I mean. All right, so I'm going to meet you guys when I get back home. And when we got all, all right, so we made it home. We got all the fish and everything. Uh, they're right down here. We got our bags with everything, our fish. Looking pretty cool. Four, we got to get some good quality light. Turn on the LEDs. All right, so first we're going to do, we're going to move this little molly right here into the small tank so the beta can be all by himself and he's not picking on him or anything. And then we're going to add the rocks that we got. We got... These are here, pretty cool. And then we got some fish food and everything, so we're gonna move him real quick. We got the tiny net again. We got a pretty cool tiki. Where is he? There we go. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of poo. All right, just make it easy. Got him. There he is. Same temperature. Oh, All right, <laughs> we finally got him to go in there, hopefully. Check on that, make sure he's not just sitting in there. Where did he go? Well, let's just hope he's not sitting in our net still. see anything all right so hopefully I mean it's kind of a dumb idea putting a black fish and black rocks and thinking that I could see him right off of that but all right this thing is really dirty so we're gonna have to clean this out and I'll get back to you when I get this to the tank out so what I like to do uh, some of you might not agree with this but what I like to do I like to just cut this right right in the top and then I'll poke some holes in the bottom, let it drain out some water, and then 
get it all squared away and stuff. So I'm gonna put it into some uh, time lapse and. got done with both the rock bags they're all ready to go and we're about to go put them in the tank and I'm about so to what get I'm gonna do I got the tank all cleaned out as you probably saw there's a bunch of poop and stuff over there so we're gonna put the rocks on in take this thing out real quick there. all right so what we're gonna do oh goodness one man recording is hard so I'm just gonna pour them in. I we still had some stuck in there. All right, so that's one bag. And then here's our other bag. bags good to go and what went from a bare ugly little tank now looks like that it's pretty cool so we're gonna just move the rocks and stuff around we want to make it nice so how you know to have the right amount of rocks it should be however many pounds I think pounds per gallon so say like mine you have a 10 gallon tank then you want to buy 10 pounds of rocks and so yeah <laughs> I like these rocks a lot, they're pretty, I like the uh, black and the purple a lot, it's pretty cool, or pink, whatever color looks like. And so, there's some on the top, but all you need to do for those, what I just do, I just like press them down so they sink and stuff. So we're gonna get our tiki for a little bit of the play in, or just hide in or something. Just set that down the rocks, cover it a little bit so it's not floating away. Bury everything down. I should have gotten a towel. Whew. All right, and so now it's time for our beta. We got him right here. This is, if you guys were just wondering, it's a Delta tail male. Pretty cool. Um, so we did. We decided to just wait to get my sister's beta until she actually got her tank for her birthday. So she is not gonna have hers until her birthday. And so we're gonna go ahead and put them in. Um, actually, I should probably acclimate them for a little bit. Drip. So I'm just gonna drip acclimate. What that is, all you do is just take a little bit of this water and put it into this cup, which shouldn't take too long. But we're gonna go ahead and do this real quick, and then we'll all be right. So right we back. just got done acclimating them, and. That is a cool beta right there. So we got the little net. We're just gonna try not to stress him out too much. I mean, he's probably already stressed out from the car ride and just getting all this moved around and stuff. We just don't wanna stress him out any more than he already is. He's, he's smooth, he's quick. There we go, we got him. Oh. Oh my goodness, he's real fast. He's so beautiful. Probably just a little bit nervous right now, that's why he's not moving. That is so cool. No, don't eat the rocks. Do not eat the rocks. He literally just went up there and just tried to eat those rocks. Alright, so looks like he's hungry. So we just also got some better food, better flakes. He seems to like it. So get these open. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, so I'll get these open real quick. Take the foil off. I just kind of want to see what they look like. I don't know if glowfish food's the same, because I think when I had my glowfish, 
I think that I just had a regular like fish pellets and not the ones that glue or something like that. But if these things actually glow underwater, I wish I had a, bl a black light, but the black lights there were all, like there's a, literally an eight inch black light that was like 50 bucks. And I was like, nah. I mean, it looks kind of different. Like I can see if it glows or something, but it just looks like some regular food to me. All right, so we're just gonna drop these in there real quick. Sorry for the bad camera quality, I'm really trying hard to record this by myself and it's kind of hard. So all we're gonna do, is get a slight little pinch like this, like just like a little salt pinch. Just drop it on in. Hopefully he goes and eats. I'm gonna try to drop these rocks down as much as I can. Cause I do not want him eating a rock and then getting sick or something. But that is super duper cool. That's amazing. Thank you guys for watching make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the like and turn on post notifications so you can see all my upcoming videos